Freshman Starter Pack, Academic Course Subjects, Curriculum, No More Doubts. Hello guys! Hi guys! Hi you guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! This is... This is Colors Nina! Your guide today, the hope of the future. What's up you guys? This is Colors Nina, your guide today, the hope of the future. For today's vlog, we are back with the last content of our trilogy series entitled P and You What? Containing the wonders of incoming freshmen ahead of their first leap to their college journey. Makes you curious, right? Yes! You get the right message. We will be talking about the life of PNU ones amidst the pandemic by citing their own life experiences. That's right! We will also talk about the core subjects, curriculum, organizations, and some tips for time management and stress coping mechanisms that our guests for this vlog will provide us. So if you guys are aspiring PNU ones who are here on YouTube to serve for videos about Inang Pamantasan, well, this video is made just for you. So sit back, relax, and keep on watching. Alright you guys, it's Monica here, taking the honor to talk about being a PNU one in our last episode for this series. First thing is that, how are PNU ones doing in this time of pandemic given that the modality shifted from physical classes to online classes? And to answer that question, we maximize the online world to seek answers from our seniors and fellow PNU ones about their experiences amidst the distance learning. We received entries online via Google Forms to collect the answers. We also promise to keep the identity of the senders confidential. Alright you guys, let's start reading these entries. So the first entry came from Fab Tribe. The sender says, Kinakaya naman. So basically, Kinakaya naman in English is like still catching up. So after that first entry, we have now this testimony from Ari. So Ari said, the PNU is a hands-on university. They provided what the students need and they extend their hands in helping the marginalized learners so they can access education despite the new online setting in new education. It is also effective since the professors always attend classes and answers the inquiries and requests of students. So that's the first two entries, you guys. These two entries touched me so dearly. I feel the emotions put into simple words by our first two senders and that's quite relatable. Alright, so that's our first two entries. So we're now down to the third. Now we have another sender that encoded BBCO as a code name. So that's quite funny, you guys. So BBCO wrote, Honestly, I feel somehow sad because this is what I have not expected as my first year would turn out to be. Although, I understand that it's because of the pandemic, the loads of schoolwork that we have to do gives me stress that sometimes I cannot enjoy since instead of having my self time, I do my schoolwork. However, in terms of quality, I must say that PNU gives its best. Oh wow, that was super honest, you guys. I think this sender here has the sympathy of many because you know, sometimes we have that time wherein we just want to voice out to feel better. Anyways, down to our fourth entry. This entry is from code underscore zero two. So sender code underscore zero two wrote challenging. Oh, I can never agree more on this testimonial, but I hope all will be well in your end soon. If you're watching this right now, know that you're not alone. If you need someone to listen to those stories, let it out with friends you're comfortable sharing them with. All right? Now for the last two testimonials, for the fifth we have Grace. So Grace wrote, tired. So like, tired with a period. That sounds so real and striking and honest. I'm kind of caught with that at some points. I somehow have the same struggle. So Grace, girl, same. 
Just kidding. I know you guys are curious about our last entry and it is from Solemn Solasta. Our last sender wrote, I think the online modality in Philippine Normal University is inclusive. Inang P is finding its way to address issues faced by the students with this new learning modality. However, it is up to the professors on how they will make their class inclusive. This online modality is taking a toll to some because of the teaching strategies or approaches of some professors discouraging students than helping them cope up with the situation. <laughs> so that's all of our chosen testimonies. So from these selected testimonies, I can say that every PNU one watching right now can relate to these statements. The changes that the pandemic brought to every aspect of our lives almost changed it completely. I low key miss asking my teacher to allow me to go to the bathroom, but I like go and buy some food in the cafeteria. <laughs> Oops. But kidding aside, that's it for our selected testimonials from our fellow PNU ones. There are more remaining in the response panel, so if you guys want to know more about the other responses or are looking forward to having your entries featured, make sure to leave us a comment below. So now we will be talking about the course subjects. So for that, let me pass the camera to another scholar ni Inang content creator, Mr. Rod Jasper. Rod, take it away! Hello guys! This is Rod Jasper Gentonio, a proud PNU1 and scholar Nina, here to talk more about being a PNU1, especially as a first year college student. But before that, here is what you need to know about the curriculum offered for the freshman students in Philippine Normal University. Here is Normal Tune, an explainer video to explain and guide to all of you. Normal Tune, hit it! Object, Object-Based Teacher Education Curriculum Here in PNU, freshman students take this curriculum. But before that, you must know something. You encountered schools that offer teacher education courses, right? They offer courses and students take the college program starting on their freshman years. That's why Philippine Normal University is special. Let me tell you why. The freshman students are under general education. That's right, the course subjects offered are majorly divided into two. For this, here is my friend to help you. It's your chick -chur saying bye for now. Hi there, I am Wolf Fesson. These two are professional education and general education. Professional education serves as the basic knowledge for the professional career. General education core subjects are the general knowledge taught to the pre-service teachers. Stay tuned to our scholars ni Inang for more information about Inang Pamantasan. I think our job here is done, Wolf Fessor. Indeed. Back to you, scholars. Thanks, Normal Tune. So there you have it. The Atom-Based Teacher Education Curriculum, or OPTEC, is the curriculum implemented for first-year students. Course subjects include the professional education and general education courses for a total of duration of three terms. The Philippine Normal University adheres to trimestral academic calendar. In the perspective of a freshman here in the Philippine Normal University, I feel like there were quite a lot of things that I haven't looked forward to. Some things that I don't feel like I would be doing. But the thing is that I conquered them all without even noticing that these things are once a problems for me as a college student. So might as well, this video can serve as a glimpse into what the incoming freshmen are to expect as they start their free service years in the university. So now, maybe some of you guys are curious about the course subject that you are to look forward to. Our dear viewers, I had the same question as well as back then, but it kept the hype and excitement on. Somehow, setting the bars when you are in the situation actually triggers your aspiration. So that, why we will not spoil your 
excitement. So hang in there a little longer and keep your heart burning with all the fun that awaits you as you take your first leap as a college student in Philippine Normal University. That's it for the curriculum and course subject. Now, apart from talking about all the fun with academics, let us now jump into another adrenaline rush caused by which your personal interest can be the main basis. For the next segment, to talk about the organizations of undergraduate courses, joining me now in the camera is Monica Rivera, one of the scholars, Nina. Alright, Rod, that's right. We're now moving on to my favorite part of being a freshman student here in PNU, the organizations. I was so excited about this back then. I was so firm about being a part of the campus publication, which is the Torch Publications, that I'm now a part of. That was the same hype I once experienced too. I think our viewers would love to hear about the process of it. Don't you think, Monica? Absolutely. So let's not keep them waiting and have it rolling now, Rod. I would love to. To begin with, for this academic year, the university held the Student Summit ALAM, which is the pilot activity of the organization recruitment in the Philippine Normal University held every year. The event is held online because of restrictions given by the pandemic and coronavirus. That's right. There are main clusters of university organizations, namely program-based organizations consisting of 27 individual organizations, 13 interest clubs, university chapters, organizations, and 8 office-based organizations that organize student activities based on their fields of interest. That's a lot of organization, Monica. You can choose among these organizations based on your field of interest, hobbies, recreational activities that you can enjoy while your journey as a pre-service teacher can help you to unwind. For a better understanding about the organizations in the university, the recorded life of the Student Summit 2020 Alap Recruitment Day back in September 2 last year, you can access the link attached in the description box to know more about them. So make sure to check it out. That was indeed a awesome experience for us, Monica. So look forward to that, our dear viewers. So maybe our viewers are wondering about the major ships that they look forward to in their later years in the university. So here is a glimpse. The College of Teacher Development is the undergraduate school of the university that offers bachelor's degrees in early childhood, elementary, and secondary education with fields of specialization. Apart from that, a screening is held for students, which is the reason why the university wants the applicants to specify the first to third majorship choices. Interviews, examinations, and senior high school grades are only few from the qualifying requirements that are being assessed by the faculty of each institute. For the full list of undergraduate courses in Philippine Normal University Main Campus Manila, check on the attached link in the description box. Check it out, guys! Now, proceeding to the last minutes of this video, stress coping strategies and time management tips that are to be provided by our guests. So here is another scholar ni Inang content creator, Janalia. Take it away! We made your time fun and exciting, right? We didn't even notice the time. As much as we don't want to leave you guys hanging, we need to bid goodbye for now. But, 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 this episode will have two parts. Initially, this is the part one. If you guys are really up to watching more, the link for the part two is in the video attached on the description box. Again, this is one of the scholars Nina, Rod Jasper, your guide today, the hope of the future. Hello! Did you enjoy this video? And want to know more about being a PNU one? Just Click here! Click here! Click here! Click here! To subscribe!